One Smile, written by Cindy McKinley, illustrated by Mary Greg Byrne, read by Mr. Zabinski. One breezy summer morning, Katie was walking through the park with her mother. Hurry up, sweetheart, her mother urged, or we'll be late for the bus. Oh, mommy, said the little girl. I sure hope our van is fixed in time for Grandpa's birthday party. Just then, they noticed a sad young man sitting alone on a bench. Katie stopped for a moment and smiled brightly at him. The young man had lost his job and was feeling very discouraged. Dozens of people had walked by that morning, but no one seemed to notice him. Then this little girl appeared and touched his heart with the sweetest smile he'd ever seen. He suddenly felt inspired to start looking for a new job. As he hurried down the busy street, the man saw a woman struggling to change a tire. Let me help you with that, he offered without hesitation. The woman had been driving to an important meeting when she heard a loud thump, thump, thump and pulled over to the side of the road. Many people had passed by before this helpful young man came to her rescue. Later, as she finished lunch, the woman was still feeling grateful for the young man's help. So she left an extra large tip. Thanks, thanks a lot, the waitress called out. On her way home, the waitress decided to surprise her children. Using the extra tip money, she picked up sodas, potato salad, and fried chicken. Then she bought the soccer ball her children had been hoping for. Surprise, she called out, let's go have a picnic. Wow, Mom, her youngest boy explained. You're the best. Can we invite the girl next door? She's new in town and doesn't have any friends yet. Good idea, his mother said. Let's invite the whole family. The little girl had been sitting alone in her room, missing her grandparents and friends when the phone rang. She couldn't believe the boy next door was calling. Maybe we could be friends, she thought. The girl and her parents brought some homemade brownies and they all enjoyed a very special evening together in the park. After she got ready for bed, the little girl couldn't wait to call her grandma back home on the farm. Guess what, Nana? We had a really fun picnic with our neighbors. I think I'm going to like it here after all. Nana could hear the excitement in her granddaughter's voice. Well, honey, I sure miss having you around, she said, but I'm glad to know you're making new friends. After hanging up, Nana took out her favorite stationery. Wanting to share the good feeling, she wrote a letter to each of her grandchildren. Inside every envelope, she tucked a special sheet of animal stickers. Nana's youngest grandson was about to leave for the doctor's office when his letter arrived. All morning, he had been nervous about getting a shot. But after seeing the animal stickers, he forgot all about being afraid. In the doctor's waiting room, the boy sat next to a sad little girl with a cast on her arm. Here, he said, maybe my new animal stickers will help you feel better. The girl stopped crying and carefully placed the stickers on her cast. As the children giggled together, her father sighed with relief. His daughter had been upset for hours and now she was happy again. After taking her home, the father rushed back to his busy auto shop. That night, a young man walked into the shop. Do you have any job openings, he asked. I work hard, and I'm good at fixing cars. Still remembering the little boy's kindness in the doctor's office, the girl's father decided to give this stranger a chance. Well, he said, I could use some extra help. Let's give it a try. The grateful young man arrived early for work the next morning. His first job was completing the repairs on a dark green van. Just before noon, he returned the keys to a woman and her daughter. I'm glad I could help fix your van, he said. Thank you, said the little girl. Now we can go to my grandpa's birthday party after all. She smiled brightly at the man. It was a smile he remembered very well. A smile that was changing the world.